Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I haven't been posting a lot, like ever, since I've been having my YouTube channel. Um, but <sighs> you know, I'm busy. <laughs> um so today is April twelfth. It's about a quarter to five in the evening, and I have something I have to tell you. After four long years, Adrian and I are expecting our first child. That is right, I am pregnant. And I am very excited. I am officially seven weeks. And I know that's very early in my pregnancy, but I'm just so excited. I know, I sound so excited as I'm yawning. But I'm just, I'm very tired. One of the biggest symptoms that I've had from being pregnant is that I am just exhausted all the time. I could legit sleep for four hours or 14 hours and I would still be just as exhausted. And it just, it sucks. It feels like I cannot get enough sleep. I only... <sighs> Sorry. So I got up probably I was awake at probably like 10 30 11 o'clock this morning but I didn't officially get out of bed until like noon I just kind of hung out in bed and just kind of relaxed and whatnot um and then it was probably like 1 30 when I finally left the house and I'm already I've been back for a couple hours I've probably been home for like maybe an hour and a half something like that and I'm exhausted I'm just like I could legit fall asleep right now I really want to take a nap but I have some things I have to do so sorry I'm getting an email <laughs> so we are planning on moving our lease is up in January and my parents are getting a house um, that we're going to rent together for like probably a year. Um, so we are, their lease is at like end of summer, beginning of fall. And um, we are going to be all living together again. And so we'll be moving <clears throat> everything once our lease is done. But so we're continuously packing and like my a lot of my apartment is just kind of insane right now because there's so much stuff but um my brain just stopped functioning entirely um anyway yeah so my apartment is a complete disaster um because we are packing stuff that like we're not going to need until next year. So like once the season is done, like we're packing up all of our winter stuff and getting that put into storage because we're not going to use it this year because we're going to be moving during the holidays. Um, and then just things that we're probably not going to use, um, that are more like, they're either like decorative stuff or it's just stuff we're not using at this time. Um, so we're packing all that stuff and moving it into storage. Um, but now that I'm expecting, not only do I have to pack and move everything throughout the whole year, I still have to set up part of our room to be a nursery area for this baby. Now I'm not due until like the end of November, so we don't have to have like a lot of baby stuff here like once we rent a place I can do most of the baby stuff over there but some of the baby stuff does have to be here um, we're not gonna put in a crib here we're just gonna put in like a bet we're gonna have like a bassinet here um, because this is only a one-bedroom apartment and we don't really have space to put tons of stuff so we're just kind of trying to figure out how we're going to balance moving everything and also having a baby here for like two months, two, two and a half months. Um, 
so it's kind of just a little bit um, stressful but I'm really just I'm really excited <laughs> I'm really happy <sighs> really tired. <laughs> um, I have been extremely fortunate to where I have had zero, none, not a morning sickness. I have not been sick at all. I have felt, I had to throw up yesterday just because I had drank so much water that I was just, I was so full and it was just making me nauseous and I just had to throw up just to get a little bit of the water out of my stomach. <sighs> But other than that, like, that's really, that's all I felt. Um, the only symptoms I'm really having are just, like I said, I'm completely exhausted. I have heartburn. My boobs are so sore. They're already getting too big for, like, the bras I currently have. So that is something I'm definitely not happy about. Like, having to go buy new bras just because my boobs are going to possibly, potentially double in size. Now, I am a double D as it is. I really can't afford to get any bigger without just ripping my back apart. And the worst part is that I can't take any of my pain medication. So I have chronic migraines like two to three times a week. And unfortunately, I can't take any Excedrin for my head. So that really sucks. And I take tramadol for my back because I was in a car accident when I was 25 and my back is just destroyed. And I can't take that. And I have bad knees and I take ibuprofen for that and I can't take that. They're telling me that the only pain medication really that I can take is going to be Tylenol. Great. And low doses of Tylenol. So I can't even like be like, okay, well, I'm going to take like a double dose or a triple dose of Tylenol. I'm just, I have to take like the normal amount of Tylenol. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. And then, sorry, oh, God, I'm so tired. <coughs> um,. I have like a bump right here on my chest and it's driving me nuts. Um, the other thing that I'm suffering from is this whole pregnancy brain thing. My brain just shuts down whenever it feels like it. And it really sucks. Um, so that's a thing. Um, but we haven't God, I'm so sorry. We haven't really told a lot of people. Well, I've kind of told a lot of people. But we're not telling, like, the majority of our friends and family that we're pregnant until after our first trimester is over. Well, my first trimester. Um, just because then things will be a little bit more solid, a little bit more secure. Um, the first trimester is always, like, really hit or miss. You can miscarry really easily. And... My mom has a really bad history of miscarrying. Um, I'm an only child from my parents. And I just want to, like, protect this little... My, I call it my gummy bear. My little gummy bear. And um, as best I can. Um, I have my first ultrasound on the 28th of April. And I'm really excited because we'll be able to see the little gummy bear. And we'll be able to hear the little bear's heart. So I'm really excited about that. Um, what else can I tell you about? <sighs> God, I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm so, like, physically exhausted. I'm, and mentally just, just wrecked. I am just wrecked. Um, oh, my phone. Sorry, my little tripod thing is just being a little turd bucket. Um, Let's see. Um, I'm hoping it's a girl. Uh, Adrian is hoping it's a boy. But whether it's a girl or boy, as long as they are happy, healthy, have all their digits, like, 
That's all I care about. Um, I need a nap. <laughs> um, oh, I'm like, I'm so dead right now. I could literally just fall asleep. Um, we already have names picked out. So, uh, if it's a boy, his name is going to be Sebastian Bennett. And if it's a girl, her name is going to be Charlotte Rose. I'm rubbing my belly right now. <laughs> my stomach, you can, like... So, Adrian and I, we were trying for about four years um, before we finally got pregnant. And you really learn to feel what your body is doing. Like, you're very aware of what is going on in your body. And, like, in March when I got pregnant, um, um, I'm sorry, like, I'm really trying to not let this pregnancy brain just, like, destroy my life, but it really is. Um, I felt when I was ovulating, I felt like I was very aware that I was ovulating and I could have just like, I didn't need to take a test to know I was ovulating. I knew what my body was doing. Um, but I took one anyway and I was like, okay, like I know this is going on. And of course I had a positive on my ovulation test. And then, so Adrian and I, of course, baby danced and we, I knew when I was supposed to get my period and normally about three days before I get my period, I start getting, I get angry really fast. I get frustrated really fast. Um, like my negative emotions that happens a lot faster. My happy emotions, my positive emotions, like they don't come on as quickly, but like you, you can piss me off. Like so fast. I can just like flip in an instant and be like just completely out of control. And I didn't feel that. And I normally get like pre period cramps and a little bit of bloating and I didn't get any of that, but I felt fine. Like I didn't, I wasn't cramping. I wasn't throwing up. I didn't have any morning sickness. I didn't have like any aversion to food. Like I wasn't like super... Like, the only thing that had changed was the smell of the chicken artichoke panini now smelled like puke. Like, absolute vomit. And that was the only thing. So I wasn't getting, like, big, like, red flags going, hey, something could be going on. And so the day I was supposed to start my period was a Wednesday, and I didn't start. And I was like, okay, well... I'm not going to stress out about it. Like every now and then, like my period will either be like a day or two early or a day or two late, depending on if I'm stressed or whatnot. And I was really this month, like March, I had just kind of like taken off of my like fertility binge. Like I was the last four years had just been a nightmare. Like I was tracking my cycle and tracking my cycle and tracking my cycle and like, making sure that I was doing everything right and taking fertility pills and, like, really just <sighs> trying to, like, just, I was desperate to get pregnant. In March, I finally was just like, I need to take a break. I need to stop stressing. I need to stop freaking out. I need to stop counting. I need to stop all of this. So I did. I stopped taking prenatals. I stopped taking my fertility drugs. I stopped logging my every mo like every movement I made was being logged. And in March I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to, I'm not going to stress out about this. And so like, like I said, I felt myself ovulating. I took my test. I found out I, I just happened to look at my app just to be like, okay, so am I lining up with everything? Everything was right on schedule. Like, we had sex today that I was going to be at the highest possibility of getting pregnant. And I just waited. I wasn't stressing out. I wasn't praying for my period. I wasn't 
praying not to get my period. I wasn't, I had no expectations in the month of March. And I ended up, on the day I was supposed to start my period, I didn't start. And I was like, okay, well, like I said, I could run a couple of days late, like, no big deal. Like, every now and then that happens. So, I waited a couple of days. Still didn't start my period. It was a Friday. And I was like, you know what, like, I'm not going to test yet. I'm going to wait until Monday. I'm going to wait the weekend and decide on Monday to take a test if I haven't started my period yet. So Saturday night, I get off of work and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to run, like, I'm going to run my Rite Aid on my way home. It's right across the street and I'm going to pick up a test um, so I don't have to worry about it on Monday. So I get home and I'm, and I'm like, I need to take a shower. I feel gross. And I decide, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to take my test. I'm going to take one. It was a pack of two. I'm going to take a test to see what it says. So I take the test. I'm getting ready to get jump in my shower. I look down at the stick, and it says, yes. It says that I'm pregnant. And I just stared at it. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what are you telling me right now? And once it finally kind of processed in my brain that I was pregnant, I just started to sob. I was just sobbing uncontrollably. I had had such a hard time getting pregnant the last four years. And all of a sudden, the one month that I finally just go, you know what, I can't. I can't stress out about this anymore. That's the month that all of a sudden my body just decides, you know what, okay, it's time. <laughs> if I had known that all I needed to do was relax, I would have done that years ago. So, so here I am. I am seven weeks pregnant. And since then, I've taken other pregnancy tests, like every... I think I've taken a pregnancy test like once a week since I found out. Um, that's not even true. I took two last week, I think. Um, and just to kind of confirm that I'm not getting a false positive, which false positives are very, very rare on um, at-home pregnancy tests. They do happen very rarely, like I said, but they do happen. So I took... A total of three pregnancy tests, and all of them came back positive. So I'm, I'm sure I'm pregnant. Um, it has not been confirmed by a doctor yet. Like I said, my first appointment is going to be April 28th. I'm having an ultrasound and blood work done, and um, and there goes my brain again. <laughs> and um. Yeah, so it'll be confirmed officially medically um, on the 28th. Um, by that point, I will be about right around nine weeks pregnant. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Which means once we find out, like once it's confirmed at my ultrasound, we'll only have like three more weeks until I'm out of my first trimester. And then we will tell everyone that we're pregnant. Um, like right now, the only people that we've told are like my parents. Um, just because like I needed, to, I needed to tell them. Like this is, that's the difference between like telling my parents and telling his parents. Like this is my body. This is happening to my body. This is, he's just kind of along for the ride at this point. Um, and so I needed to tell my parents right away, and I told, um, my best friend, Ashley, and I told my cousin, Tab, and I had to tell my boss and my coworkers because I didn't want to, like, start taking it easy and have them be like, wow, Sherry just decided to start slacking off at work, like, that's not like her, like, what's going on? So, um... I told my coworkers that I'm pregnant, and 
I told a couple, like, we told a couple of Adrian's co-workers at the restaurant. Um, so, we haven't told, like, a ton of people, but we have told a good chunk of people that we see, like, every day that, like, kind of, the, the need to know people. Um, so, other than that, um, that's kind of all that's going on. Um, I'm trying not to buy a bunch of baby stuff just because we don't know the gender of this baby yet. And also, we're going to be having, um, baby showers. So, um, like, we don't want to buy a ton of stuff and then have our friends and family buy it too. So, I'm trying to be good and not buy a ton of baby stuff. However, um, I bought a couple of, like, little baby outfits and, like, I've got some baby clothes that are kind of gender neutral that I can kind of play either way. Oh, I'm sorry, like, my body just hurts. I'm going to take this off the charger right now. Anyway. Oh! <sighs> I'm just so tired. Uh, um, so yeah, so, um... That's really about it, and ooh, I got a burp. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I bought Adrian this book called "Dude, You're Gonna Be a Dad," and then like I've got a bunch of pregnancy books that I'm reading and like trying to become a professional at being pregnant, like within the first trimester. So I'm trying to be a good pregnant person, but like hard. Especially when you're used to being a fat person and you're used to drinking like tons of soda and eating tons of gross fat food, fat food, fast food, and just being like a whore, like a, like a generally shitty eater. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of, I'm a little mildly frustrated at myself that I, that I did not be a little bit more proactive about losing weight before I got pregnant, but, um, I'm trying to, like, get up and get moving, and, cause I can lose weight while I'm pregnant, sorry, yeah, I can lose weight while I'm pregnant just because I can afford to lose the weight, um, and then today I bought some, um, I don't want to buy, like, a bunch of maternity clothes. I think that is such a waste. Especially for me, because more than likely this is going to be my only kid. And, um, I just find it to be just, a, it's a waste of money. I'm only going to wear them for a very short period of time. So, like, why? <laughs> so today I bought one pair of maternity pants that I'm going to wear for work. Because when I'm home, like, when I'm not at work, I'm probably just going to wear, like, sweatpants or leggings or something like that. Something that's going to be comfortable. Um, and... Oh, I bought two maternity shirts. And again, those are for work. So that I don't have to, like, really worry about, um like jacking up my clothes um so yeah one pair of pants and two shirts cost me like 60 bucks so i was like this is some bullshit um but other than that really like there's not a lot going on i'm just trying to like lay low be calm like be quiet and i've been playing music for the baby and We've introduced the baby to, uh, Linkin Park, One Direction, Britney Spears, Kesha, like, all kinds, just, like, all kinds of music. This baby has listened to all kinds of music, and I talked to, I, I'm baking that it's a girl, so, but we'll see. But, um, I've been calling, like, I've been talking to her like she's a she, and pff, it was a bug. Like, this just keeps getting lower and lower because I'm just so tired. I'm trying, like, I'm just, I'm trying. I'm just, I'm so tired. Probably if I got up and started, like, moving, I would probably not be so tired, but. 
it's just a one do. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, for the most part, that's just kind of what's been going on in uh, my life. I'm just, I'm preparing to be a mother. Like, it's so, it's so crazy. Like, this Mother's Day will be my first one that I can kind of celebrate because I'm going to be a mom-to-be. And today I'm wearing my, uh, sorry, boobs. Urgh. I'm wearing a shirt that says Pregasaurus on it. And what's nice about being fat already is that I don't have to worry about just, like, sucking in my stomach anymore. Make myself look thinner. I can just let it hang out and then wear, like, a pregnant shirt that says I'm pregnant. <laughs> and people are like, oh, she's pregnant. She's not just fat. <laughs> so. But, um, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying being pregnant. My husband... I don't want to say he's more attentive because I don't think he really is. He's not, like, him and my parents are kind of reserving their excitement until after this baby is, like, confirmed by the doctor um, and once I'm out of my first trimester. So, like, 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 I can appreciate that, but, like, they're definitely, like, he's not as excited as I am. Like, I'm pumped. And he's just like, eh. So, um, oh, I just punched myself in the stomach. That hurt. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I'm telling you, pregnancy brain is real. But I guess it's like, I'm just, I'm trying to just take it easy. I was saying that he wasn't near, like, as attentive. Um, he's not being, like, more attentive than he usually is. But, like, every night when he comes home, no matter how tired he is, he will rub my feet and he will rub my back. And he will just be like, and how was your day? How are you feeling? And I'm like, you work twice as hard as I do. And he's like, um, you're growing a person. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, uh, last week, last, I think it was like last week or the week before, like I was growing a brain. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm really tired. I'm growing a brain today. <laughs> and last week I was growing like lungs and liver and kidneys and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you know, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm actually growing a person inside me, so I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to do dishes tonight. <laughs> so, but um, everybody at work is pretty excited. Um, they know, like, how hard we've been trying to... Rude Willow. Um, they know how hard we've been trying to get pregnant, and... Now that I am, I'm just, like, we're all just, like, so pumped. We're all so pumped. Like, everyone's just ready. Everyone's talking about how uh, they're going to the gym to, like, get their summer body ready and, like, get abs for girls and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, you know what I'm going to do for the summer? I'm going to get fat. <laughs> it's just, it's great. Like, I'm thrilled. I am I love it. Like, I don't have to worry about toning my body. I don't have to worry about anything. Like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to be walking, like, I'm going to try to start walking, like, two miles a day just because I need to, like, get exercising and, like, take a little bit of the weight off. But I don't have to worry about being in a bathing suit this summer. That's awesome. Like, I'm so pumped. I'm like, yes. Oh. I'm telling you, this baby gives me indigestion, like, nobody's business. But, baby likes spicy food. All I've wanted to eat is fruit and spicy food. So, I'm okay with that. Ooh, Rue, do not honk your horn. If you are here to pick somebody up, park your ass and walk your ass to the front door, you twat. Sorry. <laughs> so angry. Anyway, this video is already 30 minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video down. Yeah. So, thank you guys for tuning in to my yawn filled pregnancy brain filled vlog um i will try to kind of keep posting about my pregnancy 
I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do a good job about this, just because you guys know, as well as I do, that I can't fulfill that promise. So, I will talk to you guys later. And again, thank you for being here, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.